my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 35장 순종하기를 배운 요나. 하나님이 큰 바다를 어, 큰 바람을 바다 위에 보내셨어요. 파도가 높게 일어나 배가 부서지게 되었어요. 요나는 하나님을 피해 도망가고 있었어요. 하나님은 요나에게 니누에로 가서 하나님의 말씀을 전하라고 하셨어요. 하지만 요나는 가고 싶지 않았어요. 그래서 다시스로 가는 배를 다시스로 가는 배를 타고 도망가는 중이었어요. 아... 살짝 니누에가 여기면 다시스로 다시스는 여기 지금 완전 먼 곳으로 도망을 간 거예요. 35 chapter. Jonah learned to obey God. God sent a great wind on the sea. A violent storm, violent storm arose and the boat was about to break. Jonah was in the boat. Jonah was running away from God. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. To tell them God's message, Jonah didn't want to go there. He was on the way to Tarshish, so Jonah ran away from God. Like Nineveh, what's that? Nineveh, Nineveh, and Tarshish is very like. Away. The people on the boat were afraid. Jonah told them that he was running away from God. He said, throw me into the sea. God is God will stop the storm. People tried to row the boat at, to the land. It was un useless because of the storm, strong wind and the storm. So people on the boat were afraid because of the big storm. Jonah was running away from God, so he said, like, throw me into the sea. Then God will stop the storm. 할수 없이 사람들은 기도하는 마음으로 요나를 바다에 던졌어요. 그러자 바다가 금방 잔잔해졌어요. 하나님께서는 큰 물고기를 보내셨지요. 물고기야, 요나를 삼켜라. The people threw Jonah into the raging sea. Instantly, the sea became calm. calm. God sent him a huge fish, swallowed Jonah. So, uh, the people who were on the boat didn't, first, didn't try not. He, they tried not to throw on Jonah because they can't. But, they throw Jonah because he said, like, show me. 큰 물고기는 요나를 삼켰어요. 요나는 3일 반낮을 그 물고기 뱃속에 있었어요. 요나는 물고기 뱃속에 있으면서도 하나님께 기도했어요. 하나님께 잘못했다고 말씀드렸어요. 하나님께 용서해달라고 부탁드렸어요. 이제 할수 없이 요나가 바다에 버려져가지고 이제 끊임없이 계속 기도를 하나님께 드렸어요. 이제 도망간 거 잘못했다고 
The big fish swallowed Jonah. Jonah was inside the fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed to God in the fish, Please forgive me, I have sinned. The big fish spat out Jonah on a dry land. God said to Jonah again, Go and tell the people of Nevis to stop doing bad things. 이제 요나는 하나님의 말씀에 순종했어요. 일어나 누누 니누에로 왔어요. 그곳에서 많은 사람들에게 하나님 말씀을 전했어요. This time, Jonah obeyed God. He went to Nivea. He told God's message to the people of Nivea. Yesterday, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time, I'll read another good story. Now, let's see you next time. Bye.